My kettle went crack. My boom box went boom. Well, we better see what was inside. Welcome back to another month of Scratch Bashing Hall. If you're new here, every month I look at things and stuff that I've found, broken, salvaged, purchased, received as donations. This is all the stuff that's going into my supply depot for future builds. So let's start with the boom box. The speaker mesh is fairly malleable, so it could be cut up and used as some sort of fine grating. It's pretty cool though, because it has circular holes as opposed to the squares in something like granny grating slash person plastic or drywall tape. So that's a cool piece. The shell itself, it's just got some nice rounded plastic. It could be used as, you know, armor or maybe even the nose of a giant spaceship. You never know, lots of potential in this. And in the back section, some of these screw mounts actually would make pretty good gun barrels just because they're made of this really thick detailed plastic, nice layers. Onto the internals, there's a lot of metal pieces that have all these different holes in them where lots of different hardware was mounted or different mechanisms were mounted. And these would make really good sort of background detail in any type of sci-fi terrain or build. Kind of a nice backdrop for greebling. That goes for this plastic piece as well, which there are a couple of, just nice and super chunky. You can imagine that if this was, you know, maybe painted up gray, it could be the surface of the Death Star. That's pretty much how they made it anyway. So really cool stuff inside of old electronics. You just got these little dinky metal pieces. Same deal, but these could be used on smaller models. So very cool to have more metal details. These could be little like roof vents on bunkers or you could even be like sponsons on the side of a tank. Nifty little metal bits from inside the radio. Get a selection of plastic gears. I really like plastic gears because they're usually pretty thick. So when you scale them for miniatures and paint them up like metal, they look a lot more appropriate. Uh, there's also a few little plastic arms and detailed bits, which are pretty cool. Definitely good use in any type of sci-fi, mech, just general greebling, or this could actually be part of an arm or shoulder or hand for a robot. So pretty nice stuff inside there. Sadly, I had a glass kettle, which went boom, but I was able to take apart all the plastic. I didn't cut myself once, I swear. So inside of the kettle, there was just a lot of interesting, pretty tough plastic base pieces. These would be good as like a train base. This could be the opening on like a missile silo. Pretty cool. More of the same. Has all these like reinforcement pieces. I mean, this was the, this was the top, but on the interface, this would actually be better as the exposed portion as like a metal lid for a missile turret or sorry, a missile silo or just some other like metal terrain feature. You could also layer grading over this. So this was the detail you saw beneath, but you could have miniatures standing on it. So pretty nice piece. There's this serrated LED illumination strip. No LEDs in it, just the, this is like the diffuser, but just a cool piece. Very thick plastic. This could be used for, well, it's got teeth, so it could be used for orcs, right? Another circular plastic piece from the base. This actually has a nice little double band around the outside, so good detail for a chunk of plastic. It could be part of a fortification or like the entryway down into some sort of underground bunker. More of the same. This is actually a little bit less detailed, but just a cool set of plastic and a nice way to recycle what was left of the kettle. The handle components, I kind of think this could be used potentially as the middle line of a spaceship. It is kind of an odd piece, but I'm, I'm confident I could make it work for something. It's good solid plastic, nice curves, so it makes good armor panel. Just not sure exactly where I will apply it just yet. The actual lid, which actually I think looks kind of like the bridge on the Enterprise. Inside the kettle, there's an assortment of mechanical plastic pieces. Just nicely detailed, very industrial looking. 
haven't disassembled this section yet, but it's a mix of metal and plastic. Really nice detail on this, and it's kind of symmetrical too, so it could be cool as a, like the internals of a, a mech. I mean, right away it looks kind of like the torso of some sort of big mech, but there's a lot of ways you could apply that. Anything that's symmetrical is, is useful. And again, it's got that nice detailed plastic with like the reinforcement pieces, which when you paint it up as metal is very convincing. I received some toy donations from my nephew. These are mostly broken toys and purges from garage sale Lego hauls. As you know, I only accept mega blocks and lower. So these would just be uh, loose pieces that were inside of those hauls. Um, and then there's also this broken pneumatic toy, which I think has some pretty cool surface detail and also these type of same sort of thing, the convincing reinforcement in the plastic. So this would work well in any type of sci-fi build. Some of these pieces, some of the angles kind of give me a bit of a Tau feeling, like a Gunpla slash Tau feeling. Some nice symmetrical pieces too, which of course can be applied to anything, but then pretty nifty asymmetrical stuff too. So these could be actually going into some kind of mech, not necessarily committed to just terrain. It also had these like pneumatic piston pieces and some really funky looking gear and threaded pieces, which would be good on any type of sci-fi build. A couple of really nice symmetrical pieces with a ton of detail. Very awesome to use in like a mech or they could even be like on the wings of a spaceship. They could be sponsons on a tank. Lots of cool applications. Anytime you have a symmetrical, not a symmetrical, sorry. Anytime you have a pair of things, it's, it's awesome, so. Nice find, these toe looking pieces. They could be supports on some sort of terrain or they could be big toes on a mech walker. Onto the toys, got this funny little disc launcher. Whoosh, whoosh. However, take the sticker off and split it. You got a nice curved piece with some vents. Could be good for terrain or you could, because you could make it into two you could split it into two matching pieces. It could be used on a vehicle as some sort of power generator or shield generator or something. So a really weird piece, but it's kind of like the sunglasses. You know, you can still make good use out of something, even if at first glance, you wouldn't really, this wouldn't strike you as like a sci-fi bit. Got these, they're sort of rubbery and they're from, oh, I can't think of this thing right now. Oh, Beyblade. Epic spinning top game is. I wanted to say Bakugan, but it's not that. Battling disc game. Anyway, they don't have a really great material. However, as a further back recessed detail, which wasn't going to get a lot of wear, so the paint couldn't get squished and worn off, or even modified and then cast in resin, these would be uh, pretty cool. They do have a lot of nice detail on them with the bolts all around and this kind of saw or gear pattern. Got some of this building toy, this rotating piece, and then these individual sections, which can clip on here. There's the mini version. These, on the surface, they seem just like they'd make really good scaffolding, but they seem to have the sort of same plastic material as Mega Blocks or Lego, which means they'll take texturing and drilling and filing really well. So these could be applied to any type of metallic construction, vehicle or structure, or what have you. And then I get this. Someone in my family had been hoarding for years. Look at this, look at all this paneling. This is all the bread tabs. Just think of how many unopened bags there must be in the world with bread staling away because they've been unclipped and captured in here. This is like a black hole of bread clips. So thanks for watching the haul. Sorry, no build this month, just the haul. I'm spending all of my construction time working on my projects for this month. Whoops, forgot to record an outro. A special thanks to my patrons. If you'd like to support the channel, please check out the Patreon. There you'll contribute to the quality and frequency of videos. 
you'll also have access to behind the scenes and our Discord group where we talk about projects and junk hauls. If you're new here and you were able to sit through this junk demonstration, please consider subscribing. I think you'll really enjoy my actual build videos. If you're already subscribed and you haven't rung the bell, you gotta ring that bell. That's what they always say. So ding dong, and I'll see you in the next epic build video.